These are airing out, man. Okay, scoot this way. I don't want to be sitting on your lap. You won't be. Right there. It's fine. We're 90s kids. We like Pokemon. <laughs> Gotta catch, catch them all. <laughs> That's how I feel with whiskey. <laughs> yeah. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Gotta, gotta drink <laughs> them all. <laughs> Welcome back to another Bourbon Years. We are trying the first Bourbon Years blind today. This is a historic day. It is. We have only done single bottle reviews and haven't done any. Well, I guess we did a. We did the we did the beginner beginner one. best beginner best beginner. Top three. <laughs> but dry. our friend Chris gave us uh, four pours. We don't know what's in each. Yeah. And one of these is in is in, in each one. one. This is our first blind. I'll go over the bottles. Sure. Uh, the bottles. Um, really, these are just some of our favorites uh, at 100 proof, so uh, we decided to just pretty much pick four bottles at 100 proof, ones that we really liked. Um, and then we decided to go with uh, the first one, Wild Turkey 101. We really wanted to see how um, a legendary value bottle matches up to... Against some big big ones. To some big ones that we actually yeah. like that are in that 100 proof range. Yep. Yep. Um, all of these are in similar price points, so we have the Knob Creek 12 year. Uh, we have Henry McKenna, Bottled and Bond, 10 year, um, and then we have uh, just a regular Colonel Taylor Small Batch, which is one of our favorites too. So really, we want to see if any of these are actually uh, better than you know the $23 yeah, what, bottle that you can find on the shelf anywhere. What if so, we end up ranking that one first? Yeah, so this is kind of an experiment best. for us to see if uh, the hunt is actually worth it for any of these bottles. Or if we or should if we just all start, drink wild turkey. Yeah, if we should start going wild turkey. Which so. isn't the worst idea. Yeah, so uh, what, Mitch, com what, what, are, what company do these glasses? Age and Ore. Oh, yeah, or. Age and Ore. So we have our little uh, tasters here. From I don't have one. I just have the naked glasses. He's a loser. He doesn't <laughs> have the, the actual nice little. So these are, so our friend, as we said earlier, our friend Chris Bordham, each one of these has a letter on it, which is really cool. And each of these bottles has a little rubber label. So when we're done trying, we can just pop that label off and show us. Super the, convenient, yeah, super nice. awesome. Uh, very nice set, so, I recommend. What are the rules? What are we so doing the rules for this? Video? is we're gonna go A to D and then D to A, and then we're gonna kind of go off camera for a little bit to uh, put a little more thought into it. You guys don't have to watch us just talk for 10 minutes on it. We're but then it. but then we're gonna rank them. Oh, as we're drinking them, we're gonna tell you the flavors we're getting. Um, we're not gonna guess which bottle we think it is until later in the video, so. Um, but when we're drinking it, you'll see it on screen. And like I said, we'll go A to D, D to A, and then we'll give you our ranking and Final reveal, so yeah. it'll be fun. We're excited. Yeah, and, and just to kind of lightly touch on a blind, if you stumble on this video and you've never seen a blind, mm -hmm. obviously, as it says, we don't know what's in each. Yeah, board. yeah. So we're totally just, blind. We don't know what's we're just in there. trying. We're, it's it's just a fun thing to do. Compare things yeah. without being biased on. Oh, I love Colonel Taylor, you know, but I don't like Henry McKenna. That's happened to us, and there's been times yeah. where it takes the label out of it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I remember I, I ranked a Jim Beam like number second when yeah, we first when started started, drinking, yeah. and yeah. I was like. And there was an eagle rare right. included in that in that battle yeah. too. But so, when you're comparing yeah. them, you're like, that's no way I'm gonna say yeah. that Jim Beam's right. good, you know. So yeah. it's a really um, cool way to not let it go to your head. Yeah, when you pour that bottle, you know. The the, the, sorry, the label influences a lot yeah. of decisions mm -hmm. for sure. Um, yeah, so let's get going. But before we do, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and uh, like the video, share it with your friends. Um, also, find us on Instagram uh, at the Three Bourbon Years. Uh, we post a lot of our content on there before, or we give you kind of a preview of what we're going to do for that yeah. week. Yeah. Uh, and then we also post like pickup videos, things like that, or, or pictures. We just had a huge store haul from Arizona. Oh, yeah. With a bunch of smoke wagon, as you can see in the background. This is so literally all from Arizona. We get so. a lot of that. Uh, so just check us out on Instagram, give us a like there, and then just go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you liked uh, if you like this video, and let us know if you tried any of these. And then also let us know what you want to see in a different mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, if you want us to blind or if you've done a blind, sure. like I'm always curious Let's to hear start. what people are comparing. What side are we starting from? We're starting left. You want to start on the left? Yeah, because I believe that is A. So that is glass. All right. You know what? The color on all glass these, a. except for A, they're almost identical. They're almost identical. Yeah, they're literally the exact. So this is a, this oh is a God. great. Dude, this one vanilla, smells vanilla. Vanilla. Ooh. Vanilla shake. Vanilla. This is so. This is gonna be hard. All right, they're all the same. You're over. This is gonna be <laughs> <A's A's laughs> well. Wrap it up. Well, I, I feel like mm. these three have a decent amount of vanilla. Absolutely. So this, I, we know that this has. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Yeah. It's got some vanilla in it. Oh, all right. Yeah. So I'm smelling I'm sweet. I'm gonna go in. Very, very, very sweet, bitch. Can, can only know for so long. long. I got four of these guys to try. I'm excited. I'm gonna make this a half hour video. Ooh. 
It's got some, oh man. Oh, rich, oh, oh. rich dark <laughs> flavor. Oh. It's got some grapey goodness in it. Um, I feel like I know what that is. I'm getting that salty. No. I'm yeah, getting the salty, good. buttery texture. It's a buttery texture. This is uh, this is gonna be tough. Oh. To this is kind of I'm kind of sad. That this is the first one. Mm -hmm. This is the one. Is this the? If I'm thinking really, bitch goes. Oh. I feel like butter over mashed potatoes. Yeah, absolutely. This is oily mouthfeel. Uh, it's coating. Um, yeah. It's, it's a nice medium to long finish. Um, and it's very. Uh, it's got a potent nose, very vanilla. Flavor. I get like a, a little bit of fruit on this one too. I, yeah, grapes. Yeah, yeah. yeah like you said, like a grape. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you're you already know that. what I'm thinking. All right, um, I'm gonna take a swig of water. Yeah, yeah. clear the palate. I need some coffee beans water. to just chomp on. Bill, where's the canvas back? Yeah, yeah, your canvas back. All right. Number two, A or B. Okay, okay, so now we're moving on to B. You'll you see it on screen. Yeah, you know what it is. We don't know what it is. Yet. You're probably yelling at the screen already. At hey. Hmm. Ooh, I think there's a little nuttiness. Yeah, I'm getting some peanut butter. <laughs> we don't know what this one is. <laughs> if Chris put in the exact order, I'm going to be cut down. Because <laughs> that tastes like peanut Oh, dude, like I don't peanuts. know, though. Really? It is peanutty for sure, but I feel like the knob creeped a little bit. Knob, knob has a little nuttiness to it. Oh. That's oh, actually really good. That's rich flavor. Yeah, that's that's flavorful. So, oh, that's so what not do you get? what I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. So what do you, no, what do you get on the nose though? Like what? I'm getting, oh yeah. I get, I get freaking. There's there's a little bit of peanut, a little bit of like yeah. peanut shell maybe. Like almond butter or cashew butter or something like that. Yeah. It's, I'm getting some salt. Butter. I'm getting salty, yeah. uh, oily mm. for sure. On the palate to me it was like baking spices. Uh, really heavy baking spices. Yes, like uh, bold. Brown sugar, maybe some cinnamon on there. A little short cinnamon finish, on there. Though, like it's very short That's finish. why I think I also know what this might be based on the finish. Hmm. It's definitely a winner though. I mean, it, it'd be one that I'd be happy to drink. Um, it's so I don't. So far, I don't think it beat A, but it's pretty close. It's so I front like end. Yeah, I don't know yet. I let's it, see what I'm gonna do. Yeah, about. yeah. All right, all right. Clear. clear. Yeah, yeah. Let's get in here. Ah, clear that palate. I don't know how anything's gonna beat A. That's the problem. We should have started with B. But who knows? Oh. When we come back through. Oh. This one's well rounded. This is like. This is very light on the nose. It is. No, these are all like, around 100. I mean, they're all 100 proof. I mean, besides Wild Turkey 101, it's a 101, but. The strongest one here is the cheapest one. Boy. Okay, I'm I gotta, I gotta really, spin that. I gotta spin that, because like you said, it's kind of hard to know. I see, I'm really not getting anything on those. That's what, Okay, I thought I was the only one. I'm, I'm struggling here to. Maybe a faint vanilla. I literally very. <laughs> I can't. Ethan's over here going. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have COVID? I can't. Yeah. I'm just kidding. What the hell is going on? Hmm. All right. I gotta, just I gotta so try. Potent. Ooh. We haven't really been paying attention to legs. This one's got some pretty damn good legs. If that's what I think it is, that's getting more and more disappointing as the time passes. That is interesting. It's really just a little bit of pepper. Okay. I got a lot of floral. I got a lot of like. Yeah. Grassy it's floral like, on like the back of the tongue. Which is weird, right? That now I'm getting peanut butter at the end. Now I'm getting a little, a little bit of nuttiness. Now I'm getting a little nuttiness on the finish. The B, B was nutty up front. This is like, feel like there, okay, so there's a little bit of oak. There's there's definitely some oak in the back for mm -hmm. sure for me. I mean, really, that's it's like a little bit of peanut and a little bit of oak. It's really all I get on it. The nose, not really potent at all. Don't get anything on the nose. Maybe like a, like a hint of vanilla. And a hint of peanut, but so I gotta say something that I noticed about this some one. Alcohol? For some Jesus. reason, when you when you put it in your mouth, the first two is like smooth on your tongue. It's like this is immediately like salty and bitter. Like it just like yeah, like it, definitely it coats like, your mouth in like a weird. There's feel. a bitter. There's a bitterness for sure. Yeah. Yes. The so C, far I pulled a lot of like bare bones two to four year whiskey that you're gonna mix on the rocks with something like yes. that. Yeah. So far, so far easy. C's a dud for me, but. I mean, we'll biggest see. dud, yeah. Yeah, so far. <clears throat> Let's go on. To All right, D. Yeah, because yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go D, and then we're gonna go back through. Let's go on to D. Nothing's beat A yet. I mean, okay, so B a, was kind of A and B are very very close. B's good too. Here yes. comes B. Is D gonna throw me? Ooh, oh. Throw me for a... <clears throat> oh, Ooh. butterscotch. 
Ale- uh, it's like Ooh, a that's butterscotch lollies. That's oh, butterscotch yeah. lollies. This is butterscotch lollies. This is caramel. This is some good. This is vanilla caramel butterscotch. This yeah, just like threw my world at. upside down. You're a little like, wait, how is it that cheap? <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So we, yeah, he's a fucking. <laughs> I know what you did, Chris. We got some legs. Chris is off camera, napping. All right, I'm going in on this one. The nose is good. Yeah, it's it's exactly what I think it is. I don't, I don't know. And that that um, just changed. That changed my mind. So I get, I get a little bit of uh, astringent. Yep. Like I get a little bit of alcohol in there. It's a little unrefined to me. Oh my gosh! It's this might as, have flipped everything upside down. I know, as, know. Yeah, I know. I, it's not as put together as. Did the, you mix your things up, or did you just? Fake I mean, it? I faked it. Oh, okay. It's not as put together as the nose is to me. So on the nose. Yeah, it's well rounded, but there's like spikes to it when yeah. you drink it. Yeah, yeah. Not meaning like it's, it's like, it's like it burns. There's no coating. There's no finish to it at all. This just threw no. a wrench into all everything I thought. <laughs> you're, you're in trouble. I think I know what this the A is, and that's it. All right, let's let's cleanse these palates. <clears throat> go back through. All right, I know what that. I haven't had the twelve. I know what that one is. I think I, I think see. I, I do that, then I'm gonna go through and go. Damn it! Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm really curious, though. I think I know exactly what they all are at this point. Um, which is kind of a problem. When we deliberate, I want us to say exactly what we think at one time. And see if so. we can get it right. And we're all yeah. watch us okay. all three say a different bottle. Yep. So, uh, are we going to go back through then? D, or? D, yep. So now go from right to left. Because now we're going to finish with A. And now this will really test whether or not we thought A was really good or if it was just because we tried it first. Yep. So it'll be kind of right like back uh, D. So we're going back to D. We're gonna go off camera, we're just gonna talk about it real quick and then we're gonna come back and uh, give you our rankings. So hold tight. We'll see you in a second. All right. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, the results are in. Uh, we have our guesses of what they are and we have our rankings in. Uh, Chris has been uh, very generous and written down the key. Come on, Chris. So, come over here and give the camera a pop. <laughs> they need to see what you this, look like. This is man. Chris, our, our bearded... The Duck uh, Commander. Duck Commander, as a.k.a. Called, the Lumberjack. As he is known in our Duck Dynasty. Football League. You'll see more of him in May as we do uh, a special lake. We're going to do a cab and shoot, and it's going to be with some hitters. Right. Yep. We're going to have some crazy hitters. You're going to want to stay tuned. Uh, uh, just here for the free bourbon. For the free bourbon. <laughs> He's a Smoke Wagon fan. Look at him. Look at him. Of course he's like Smoke Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all we'll right. All right, get out of here. Anyways, <laughs> so what did you guys have as your least favorite? Kay. I had D. I had D. So we're both D and you had C. C. Okay, so we're going to reveal D first. And we believe that D is Wild Turkey 101. I think it's Henry McKenna. Oh, yeah, McKenna. I think it's Wild Turkey 101. I think it's Henry McKenna. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I think it's not. I think it's not. It's McKenna. Nish got it right. All right. That's yes! a boy. That a boy. All right, so D is Henry McKenna. All right, so. So I put that as my. He put that as your third. I put that right? as my fourth. He put that as his third. We did four. Henry McKenna, last place. D was number three for me. Yeah. So so number, so, uh, so let's jump to three. Well, number, yeah, because we have C. Hang on. What did you have ranked as? I had it fourth. 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 Third. Third. Henry fourth. McKenna is fourth for me. Okay. Fourth for me. Fourth for so you. do we want to go into what it is, or are we no? Okay. No, okay. We're cool. Fine. All right. Yeah. So C. So C. So I did C as my number three. I did C as my number three. You added as your fourth. And he had D as his three. Is his fourth. Let's okay. So what's C? Flop. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what it is. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so quiet there. No! Wild turkey. Alright, that's that was my so guess. I had the mix. I guessed what wild turkey. Was? What'd you think C was? I thought C was Henry McKenna. Okay. Yeah, so okay. you flip flopped. Yeah. D or sorry. Oh, he said knob was D. He said knob was D, yeah. Ooh. So I got all of them wrong except for the first one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so your least favorite was no shit. Yeah, your least turkey, his yeah. least favorite was wild turkey. This is my third favorite. Ours was Henry. This is my third favorite. And oh yeah, then our yeah. third. Yeah. So what did you guys have for uh, for B then? 
B, I had Sorry, 20. sorry, for number two. Number two, two, I had B. Number two, I had A. I had B. In B, in B, in B. So we're gonna reveal B. Okay, so reveal B. This is my number one. What do you think this is? Knob. This is knob? Knob. For B? I thought yeah, this was wild. It's knob. Yeah, it's knob. That so, means I got 100%. So I had. This kid drinks a lot of knob. <laughs> I've had that one time. That's why you knew that. So I had I had knob as my number two. And then, so that means that Colonel Taylor. Colonel yeah, Taylor. We, we all knew. We were and looking at each other. And and Colonel knew. Taylor is the is the winner for the Bourbon Ears. Um, all these others just can get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of nasty. I will. Stuff that I, would I will like say to something it. interesting is me and Taylor both rated Wild Turkey better than Henry McKenna. And Henry McKenna is supposed to be the what? It won like whiskey, a whiskey yeah, contest, and all this shit. And, 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 yeah, and it is. It, so this was our. This ranked last for us. This for us. Second, second to last for him. Um, I. Do not pay a lot of money for this. It's not worth it. It's worth, what is it, like 50, 60 bucks? I mean, typically. Just, this was $23. This is like That's $50. I mean. And sometimes it's even more you know than my, where you find it. You know, my so. mistake was with the wild turkey is I should have known it was going to be that delicate and like light compared to those based mm -hmm. on the price point. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think about, oh, a $23 bottle. And, yeah, maybe. You know, I, I was just going based off floor. You floor haven't you it. haven't drank it very much. I'm also either. a hater, so I wanted this to be. <laughs> I think that was my judgment, being like, oh, the worst one. That's it. It's just very like salty and nutty, and it's yeah. just like there's so much going on with it that I this, just. It's just too. What much. was the one that pulled the? Was that Henry McKenna that pulled that medicinal flavor we were just talking about? And no, it, or astringent. That was C. It was astringent. Yeah, that was Henry McKenna. Uh, yeah, it was just very alcohol. That's forward, yeah. Maybe. And that's um, that's what I remember about. But boy, honestly, these wild ones, turkey had a bit of a floral note that I wasn't. Yeah, they're very huge fan of. They're very close to be totally honest close. with you. Like, you know, so uh, if you can't find this, go buy this. This is better yeah. than this. Um, you know, wild turkey's better in my opinion than Henry McKenna. Yeah, I have two bottles of this. I, I guess it's for people who want to drink a, a bottle that's yeah. hard to find on secondary, but it's yeah. not really worth it. Right. So, um, not worth the hype. So I think what, another thing that I'll do is I'm gonna put what they actually were on a still slide and yeah. then what we guessed next yeah. to it yeah. and you guys will be able to see you know where we were at there. yeah so all right well again like comment subscribe uh subscribe to our channel yep uh if you haven't already if you want to see more blinds let us know if you've uh if you've had henry mckenna or wild turkey and how it actually stacks up uh, as your favorite bourbon um the bourbon ears of course were kind of suckers for colonel taylor so yes it's yeah. pretty obvious anything buffalo trace um, is typically our jam so. yeah yeah um but these are all up creek things. these are honestly all great choices I, Besides this, I want <laughs> yeah. to say we'll do a full review of this bottle at some point. Yeah, because yeah definitely. It's super famous and uh, it needs some talking. Too. Yeah, so, yes. Um, I agree. But yeah, look us up on Instagram at the Three Bourbon Ears. Like we said, subscribe, comment. Uh, yeah. Let us know if you want us to try any other blinds. Try to keep them close and proof. If you have any suggestions. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Bourbon Ears out. See ya.